What's up, everybody? I'm the old man. Uh, and this is not a Star Wars, Super Star Wars Let's Play. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I just want to take a moment to talk about fair use. Um, the Nostalgia Critic posted a video, I think yesterday, talking about fair use and talking about how um, we're all kind of in this together. Anybody who's a content creator, um, is still in danger, whether you're like me and uh, you're small potatoes, the smallest of the small potatoes at, right now, um, or, you know, the big guys. Your channel's not safe, um, and you have... Uh, you're in just in danger just as everybody else is. Um, and so I wanted to make a video to talk, kind of talk about my experiences with fair use and what I think consider to be an actual copyright violation. Um, <clears throat> like I said, I haven't been doing this very long. I'm less than a year in, and, uh, I've had to deal with copyright claims. I mean, and, and just the little let's play things that I do. Um, one of the things on my DuckTales video, some company in Germany, uh, claimed a 15-second clip of the Himalayas level, the music in the Himalayas level. And I, of course, I, you know, I disputed it, and the dispute was rejected. And uh, so then I was left with a couple options. I could just let that company in Germany monetize my video, which they'd already done through the whole appeal process. So even though it, that's what really doesn't make any sense, it's not like I get enough views to make it even worth monetizing one of my videos. But they. They monetized it, and this whole the whole time I was going through the process, it was monetized. Um, and I don't even monetize my own videos right right now. Um, so I, instead of letting them have that money, that non money that <laughs> this didn't really matter, um, I edited out. I, I had to. Uh, YouTube has a thing where you can edit out the. Uh, you can edit out the. <clears throat> the, uh, you know, the material that's supposedly copyrighted. So that's what I did. So in that video, there's this, you know, 15 minute or 15 second rather blank spot in the Himalayas level because some company just decided that they owned that. And the content ID bot decided that that was something that needed to be done. And, and, uh, and I've gotten other ones on some other videos with like visual match content and stuff and I've been fortunate that a lot of that stuff has dropped off um, and seriously all I do is let's place I mean what you're seeing this is all I do um, and then recently on my Mega Man 3 let's play the first video of that I got an email while I was at work <clears throat> and uh, said this uh, said my video had been blocked and my channel was like um i couldn't use certain thing certain uh certain uh features on my channel anymore and they were claiming this and i tried to find out what was going on and and i really couldn't i mean i was at work so there wasn't much i could do um but and just half an hour, uh, the video was back up, my channel was back to normal, uh, like nothing had even happened. I got no, the only email I got from YouTube was the one saying my channel was blocked. I didn't get any, anything saying, hey, there was a fraudulent claim, we dealt with it, you're okay. Nothing. It was just, <clears throat> oh man. It just I went back to normal, and and thank and thank God it did. I, I'm very grateful that it did. I don't know why, but that shouldn't have even happened in the first place. Um, there's, that shouldn't have happened at all. Um, and uh, so, when Nostalgia Critic says we're all in this together and no channel is safe, he ain't whistling Dixie. Um, so what I wanted to talk about a little bit too is what actually constitutes a uh, copyright violation because apparently people are unclear because I, I mean of course the the suits will tell you that anything's a copyright uh, violation because of course they are however I have a different definition of what actually would be a, co a copyright
copyright violation. And it is basically the principle of uh, the primary experience. What I mean by that is what is the primary experience of the particular art that you are partaking in? Um, if you are talking about, um, I have to concentrate now to make these jumps. Um, if you're talking about an album, obviously the primary experience of that is listening to it. Ah, <laughs> good. I'm good. I'll probably mess up these jumps throughout this whole video. Um, <clears throat> uh, is listening to it. You, you buy an album, you pay for it to listen to it. Uh, similarly with movies, it's to watch it you 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 pay your money either at the theater or on netflix or whatever you're licensing it from um for that primary experience of listening to the music or watching the video oh my gosh uh, uh watching the movie um so if somebody has a, a video up of their daughter dancing to a song that's like 29 seconds long that's not the primary experience of that that is that's you do, you don't pay you know there's no money to pay you're not even getting the whole song you're just getting a clip of the girl dancing the little girl dancing not the actual album uh similarly when you're when people are reviewing movies online like the nostalgia critic and others um that's not the primary experience, you know? I mean, they're not showing the entire movie. They're showing clips here and there, and that's not what you do with movies. Um, so they're not copyright violations. It falls under fair use, and I think it's pretty obvious that it does. Um, and then with video games is a little bit different because what's the primary experience with a video game? Um, it's playing it. The primary experience of a video game is playing it. Um, Therefore, uh, because I'm a firm believer, I was going to say something else. Let me say this first. I'm a, uh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, I'm a firm believer that the, a video game is nothing without the player. Uh, the player is the one who animates the game. Uh, without the player, a game is basically nothing. It's data on a disc or a, uh, a cartridge or on a server somewhere it's not a it's not anything it's so oh my word <laughs> i may have 17 health swords by the time i'm done with this it's not but what i was saying was it's nothing without the player um and the primary experience is playing the game uh when you go out and spend 60 dollars on a brand new game you're not doing that to watch the game uh so watching somebody play a game on YouTube, whether it be a let's play or a speed run or whatever, that doesn't violate the primary experience because that's not what you pay for games for. Um, you're paying to play. You're paying to make the decisions and, and, and see the story for yourself and, and partake in the, uh, phew, partake in the actual game, which is a thing, which a lot of people don't understand um, because they're, not gamers and they don't really understand games and and so what i do and what a lot of other people do and, and not what the nostalgia critic does and and others who review anything um they're not violating copyright violating copyright is putting a game up for people to play for free oh oh whew, that oh my gosh <laughs> putting putting up uh for free for people to play that should be paid for that somebody else owns um it's putting up genesis duke album uh and have and people can just listen to it for free without paying spotify without paying the band without paying the record company which is out there by the way um i'm gonna get through this before this video is over um, let me check my time, because I can't go over 15 minutes on these videos. Um, okay, we're good. <clears throat> and, and so I just, I kind of hope that YouTube really takes all this to heart and starts to protect its content creators and, and understand that a lot of us, we're not interested in violating copyright. We like the things that we like. We enjoy the things that we like, the movies and the games and, and everything. And we want to compensate the artists and the companies that provide us those things. 
so that when we make reviews and do Let's Plays, it's out of a sheer love for the material because we want to share it with other people. We want other people to enjoy it as well. Um, and so that's that's it. That's that's my points. My points are primary experience needs to be taken into consideration when considering copyright violations. And you are not immune. Whoever, if you have a, a channel, you are not immune to, to getting copyright strikes on your um, channel. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it this time, guys. And that's really all I want to say. I want to say, you know, to anybody out there, some of the guys that I really like uh, watching videos: Angry Joe, Nostalgia Critic, Rock Critic, uh, Brick Road, Deceased Crab. Some of those guys that I really enjoy watching. Uh, they've all had to deal with it, too. Um, and so I really do believe that we should stick together and support other content creators. Um, and uh, hopefully things will get better for us. Um, and companies will kind of learn to understand that we're not really out to rob them. The people that are out to rob them are currently robbing them, and they're not doing anything about it. Um, and so that's it. Uh, that's, that's all I have to say on the matter. Um, I'm not going to try to beat this board. <laughs> I don't have time. Uh, thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe if you like my videos. Um, and I hope that I, you know, I'm, I'm certainly not, I'm probably one of the smallest voices on YouTube, but hope, worth hearing, I hope, nonetheless. And, uh, I hope the rest of you have a good day or rest of your day or whenever you watch this. Uh, God bless, and I'll see you for the next series.